is day four. We are first going to work on the coffee bar area today because I've been promising that the past couple of days. Got all the stuff ready last night. Share with you first what it looks like right now, which is um, kind of a mess, but we're going to work on that. This is currently the coffee bar situation. It's um, kind of plain right now. There's nothing really much going on, just like the basics, the syrups. I mean, even the decanters are empty, which we need to fill. We need to change this out. This was given to us by my sister-in-law. Her husband's aunt gave this. It makes espresso style coffee, different types of coffee, um, really strong or like regular coffee. I believe this is already discontinued. There's a newer version. So if this ever breaks, we are getting the new version of it, but it is amazing. It also has, on the side, it has like a little frother, which I use every single day. All the way here in the back is a pink toaster. It's more of like a digital toaster. Let me turn it around so you can see it. But basically when you press it down, it's digital. It has like a, a timer. There we go. So it's a cool digital toaster and it's pink so i will try to link as many items as i can down below in the descri description box in case you're interested and then of course we have this area which just holds the spoons we only have one spoon left uh the pink straws this was a bath and body works candle that i just couldn't let go of so i ended up depotting it and then it now holds the sugar which we also need to refill Wow, we're like so low on stuff. And this is a candle topper, which you can still find at times at like uh, Home Goods or Marshalls because just recently I saw this. You know what? It was at TJ Maxx. I saw a candle that had this top. And then this is uh, the container I used to froth the almond milk. Need to replenish the green tea. And that is basically it. So. Let's decorate the space for the holidays. <laughs> replenished the necessities let me share with you the goods that we're going to be decorating with so this adorable mug is from Spencer's but we did get this I believe two years ago that's my husband's mug it's very fitting for his personality this other one is um, from Target tree which is from Walmart just recently purchased this for $4 Oops. This one is from Macy's. It lights up and it's so cute. I love how it's pink and it has the hearts. We have another one of the Hello Kitty DIY mug toppers. I don't think we're going to use these teacups. It's from the miniature teacup set, but I think we're going to use this plate.
Christmas coffee bar is ready. I'm so happy with the way how it turned out. It's very simple, but you know, we have the holiday spirit. Added a few new additions. I think it looks so much better now. Earlier it was very plain and not very festive, but now we have the holiday spirit. I feel like I need a pick-me-upper. I was about to make coffee since we just finished the coffee bar area, but my mom went to McDonald's. She got my dad uh, some food. I asked her to get um, a sweetened iced tea. You guys know I love unsweetened iced tea, except <laughs> try this thing that I saw, Emmeline Iniguez. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to her channel, make sure you go subscribe. I'm gonna link her channel down below. Um, that's Nicole Iniguez, Mommy Tips by Cole's daughter. She was sharing on her vlog that they always do this. So they'll take some sweetened iced tea, like any size. They'll ask for like three creamers. I have my own straw. Mix it up. So Emmeline was saying that this is supposed to be like bubble tea, you know, because technically bubble tea is like, you know, it's tea with milk. Let's try it. Wait a second, mom, this is a coffee. Not tea? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. That's okay, mom. Thank you though. It's okay. Next time we'll we'll try Emmeline's hack. But that's funny. I was like when I tried it, I was like, wait a second. It tastes like coffee. <laughs> Let's go, because we gotta go clean the bathroom and Darren's room and our room. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of cleaning to do today. <laughs> it is many hours later. Honestly, all I did today was just clean, like literally cleaned, deep cleaned everything and I am exhausted, but you know, we need to have at least our tea time. So it is time for tea with tin and we are going to be opening the 24 reasons to smile tea advent calendar. And we are on day number four, right down here. Okay. Have you take a look at it first. And it says, enjoy every little sip, loose leaf flavored black tea. And this is supposed to be eggnog. So with eggnog, I've never really been a fan of it. I've tried it a few times and it's just never really been my thing, but let's see how it is tea version. I think, I think it'll be okay. Let's see. Oh, if you guys have any cute tea steeper suggestions, please leave them below. Oh, you know what? I forgot to pour our hot water. That sweet, luscious concoction at the center of so many Christmas traditions. A delicious mess of creamy custard-like flavors. This Yuletide treat is loved for its indulgent dessert flavors. And it says to steep for two to four minutes. While the tea is steeping, let's go ahead and open the XO Marshmallow Advent Calendar. Day number four. Right, oops, right up here. See. The hint today, spin me right round. Spin me right round. <gasps> this is pretty. Spin me right round. Look, it's a pink marshmallow or pink and white marshmallow. Look at this, how pretty, right? It has swirls, it's so pretty. Spin me right round. It smells creamy. Like a berry flavor. Strawberries and cream, maybe. That could be it. One more bite. I'm gonna say it's strawberries and cream. Let's see, am I right? Cotton candy, I'm so off now that I smell it. 
Now that I smell it, yes, it smells like cotton candy. <laughs> no, that is terrible. Okay. So basically, I got one out of the four that uh, we've opened so far. Cotton candy. This is good though. The EXO marshmallows are really good. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the XO marshmallows. They do have a store and a cafe. I think it's a cafe in Chicago. Let's go ahead and try our tea, the eggnog tea. It smells creamy. You know what, surprisingly, is good. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't really like eggnog. It's a yes for me, definitely. Well, that's good. Let's pour a little bit more water. Really enjoying the T2 teas. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. All right, Chickies, so I'm gonna go ahead and end Chick Miss Day 4 here. It was a very, very, very productive day from like 5.30 this morning. I feel really good, but I'm also feeling very exhausted. Like I just wanna, you know, watch some YouTube videos, catch up on others' uh, Vlogmas vlogs, and then just knock out. And then I gotta wake up early tomorrow to edit this vlog. But I hope you still enjoyed hanging out with me today. Let me know your thoughts on the coffee bar this year. I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. And I just wanna thank you so much for hanging out for a bit today. If you enjoyed hanging out with me and enjoyed this vlog, please make sure you give it a like. Subscribe if you have not already. Would love for you to be a part of the Chicky Crew. Thank you, Chicky, so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, and I will see you tomorrow for Chickmas Day 5.